Ai, não. Ai. You never learn, do ya? And Team Maddie. Oh, well. Guess I'll just be doing the video by myself while he is passed out on the floor. But let's get some light in here, shall we? Now that's a lot better. So today we shall be going over my complete DVD and Blu-ray haul as of February 7th, 2020. Let me just get them down here after he dropped them. So anyway, without further ado, shall we begin? First, let's put this back where it belongs. Perfect. So, to start off, we'll be going through the DVDs first, and then we'll be working to the Blu-rays. Decided to do it that way this time, but anyway, let's begin. The first one we got is a uh, Police Academy 3 film collection. Police Academy, Police Academy 2, their first assignment. And Police Academy 3, back in training. I've personally never seen any of, any of these, but it was only $5 from Walmart, so I decided to give it a try. The first Police Academy is rated R, the second one's PG-13, the third one is PG. It's kind of... Funny how it just kept dropping down with each movie that came out. But the uh, the way that they do it, the first disc is actually um, printed and all that. It has a cover, but the second disc is double-sided. So, it's up to you how you feel about that, personally. I'm not really a big fan of it, but it is what it is. So, the next one that we got is also a uh, three-movie collection. It's uh, John Hughes' uh, Hughes uh, yearbook collection. The Breakfast Club, 16 Candles, and Weird Science. I've personally never seen any of these. Yes, I've never seen The Breakfast Club. This is why I decided to get it, because I wanted to see what The Breakfast Club was, what it's about, and all that. Uh, the Breakfast Club is rated R. Then I want to say... Um, wait a second. 16 Candles is PG. And Weird Science is PG-13. Then uh, Breakfast Club is a disc than uh, 16 Candles is, and so is Weird Science. So they all have their own disc, which is always helpful. I always enjoy it when they do that versus a double-sided disc. That's just me personally, but it's what I prefer. So the next one is, uh, and I did watch this just because I wanted to see how bad it was, because I've heard so many things on how bad it is. Like, you just got to see it for, like, how it is, and that is The Room. Um, I, like, it, it is something else. It is a perfect cinema paradox i'm probably going to be doing a review video on it because i just i can't believe like how this actually exists uh, one of the best things about it is if you open it he gives you a still of himself and on the back he advertises wait a second he advertises his underwear i was like okay i can't believe they're actually like doing that like that is truly something else so then the um artwork the room but um this movie is uh truly something else it is just it's a paradox it it shouldn't work because it's so bad but the way that it's bad it just works perfectly and i did watch the disaster artist which is uh off netflix and all that well it's on netflix i decided to watch it off netflix and i highly highly recommend that film once you watch this it's such a really really interesting look into si inside of uh johnny's uh head well tommy in real life inside his head and what he's about and all that it's very very interesting because this movie a lot more went into making this than you would actually think it's something else and the last thing for dvd is i got this part of a sale from fye three for 15 uh, on use i believe but that is goldberg's the complete first season i've watched it here and there i've caught like last 10 15 minutes of it on the cw before one of the shows came on at 8 8 p.m but anyway that is the f cover of it as the back, and I saved money by doing this deal. So it would have been $15 alone, but I got two other ones, so therefore the price of this probably went down to like maybe $5. It wasn't that bad at all. So that is the Gold Goldberg is a complete first season. So now that we've moved our way to uh, Blu ray, the first one that we got is this one looks like a mess, so that's gonna be fun cleaning, but. Hail Caesar. I haven't seen this. I read reviews. They're, they're kind of down the middle. It's um, a Coen Brothers film. I believe they did Fargo and No Country for Old Men. So looking forward to seeing what it's about. It has uh, Josh Brolin that played Thanos in it, George Clooney, Scarlett Johansson, Jonah Hill, 
Channing Tatum, Tilda Swinton. So it has quite a cast on it. And it takes place in uh, Hollywood, which I always like those kind of movies that take place in Hollywood and all that. So looking forward to watching it. So that is Hail Caesar. Next one that we got is I wasn't a super, super big fan of the first one, but I kind of wanted to see this one just to see how it would be. And I am a fan of uh, Seth Rogen when he does stuff right and Zac Efron. And this has uh, Chloe in it from, uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce her full name, from uh, the kick-ass movies she'd play Hit Girl. So anyway, Neighbors 2. I got this part of the 3 for 15 deal. This is rated R for crude sexual content, include a brief graphic nudity, language throughout, drug use, and teen partying. If um if you saw the first one, you know exactly what it's about. Pretty much like they're going against a fraternity, and that's pretty much it. So that is Neighbors 2. The first one he hated the neighbor, now he's teaming up to go against a neighbor he doesn't like even more. Next one that we got was actually a Best Buy uh, purchase, and that is Black Black Klansman. Black Kika Klansman, however you want to say it. But what a, it's a Spike Lee film, and this is uh, uh, John David Washington from um, Tenant, even though he did this film first, but pretty much it's about um, he's a cop and he has to inf infiltrate the KKK. So I thought that sounded pretty interesting. I like Spike Lee films from the ones that I saw, so I was like, you know what? I mean, we'll give it a try. Also, it has Adam Driver in it, and it was only five ninety nine for Best Buy, so I was like, why not? So the last one, but certainly not least, is Vice, starring Christian Bale. I recently just watched Ford v. Ferrari off HBO Max, and I really, really liked Christian Bale's performance in it. So I was like, you know what, I think I'm going to get this movie just to see his performance in it. Because he gained a lot, a lot of weight for it. If you look at the back, that's him right there. It is... It's unbelievable how much weight he actually gained for this. But it's rated R for language and some violent images. And uh, this is about Dick Cheney and, like, when he was big in, uh, like, the American government and how much he actually screwed everyone over with it. But it also stars Amy Adams, Steve Carell, Sam Rockwell... And what it's about, if I read the back real quick, it said, nominated for eight Academy Awards, included Best Picture, Vice stars Christian Bale in an Oscar-nominated role as Dick Cheney in this epic tale of how bureaucratic uh, Washington insider quietly became the most powerful man in the world, co-starring Amy Adams and all of them. Is a, uh, Vice is a dark comic, uh, darkly comic look behind the scenes of American politics. So that was my complete DVD and Blu-ray haul. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a subscribe so I know to keep making more of these. If you have any video requests, please put them down in the comments below. I saw a video request to do um, a Harry Potter ranking, which that will be coming soon, uh, just within this week. I, I want to say within this week. So uh, thanks for watching once again, and I shall see all of you in the next video. Bye! Yeah.